you have the power of geoengineering to terraform another planet, then you have the power of geoengineering to terraform Earth back into Earth. In the depths of space, among the countless celestial bodies that grace the cosmic canvas, one enigmatic question has captured the imaginations of dreamers and scientists alike. Could Mars be the answer to our quest for a second home in the universe? It's a tantalizing proposition, and in a conversation that delves into the cosmos, Neil deGrasse Tyson exchange ideas on the possibility of terraforming Mars. As we step into the unknown, the secrets of Mars are unveiled, leaving us with profound mysteries to ponder. In a universe teeming with wonder, we embark on a journey to explore the enigmatic allure of the Red Planet, where science and imagination intertwine in the quest to uncover the keys to making Mars our new home in the stars. Explore the cosmic dreams of Neil deGrasse Tyson as he envisions making Mars a new home for humanity. Chuck, you want to live on Mars? Yes! This is Reveal the Mystery. If you're curious to learn mysteries of the world, space and beyond, consider subscribing. Neil deGrasse. Tyson's recent interview delves into the tantalizing yet complex endeavor of terraforming Mars. He emphasizes the extensive challenges and uncertainties surrounding this ambition, raising questions about our priorities and responsibilities on Earth in the face of interplanetary exploration. The day we have the power to terraform Mars, to turn Mars into Earth, we will have the power to turn Earth into Earth. Exploring Mars's potential Mars, often referred to as the Red Planet, presents humanity with two exciting pathways towards becoming a habitable world. The first option involves constructing a vast network of biodomes, essentially recreating Earth's nurturing environment on the Martian soil. Although this idea may appear enticing at first glance, it raises questions about its practicality and the limitations it imposes on human movement. In essence, it could transform Mars into a Truman Show scenario, confining our existence to these domes. A long-term home within such confines presents formidable challenges and constraints. The second option, arguably the more intriguing one, is the ambitious concept of terraforming Mars. Terraforming is a grand endeavor that revolves around the meticulous transformation of a planet's climate, surface, and environment to closely resemble that of Earth. The renowned astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson shares profound insights into the intricacies of this monumental undertaking. Ooh. You want to warm the planet, ah. get the water back on the surface. So the problem is there's not enough in, on planet carbon dioxide and water vapor to pull this off. Why Mars? over other planets. Among its planetary neighbors, Mars stands out as the prime candidate for terraforming, and the reasons are compelling. Venus, for instance, boasts a scorching environment with temperatures soaring to a sweltering 900 degrees Fahrenheit, courtesy of a relentless runaway greenhouse effect. Mercury, the closest planet to the sun, endures even more extreme heat. In stark contrast, Mars, with its 24-hour rotation similar to Earth's polar ice caps and telltale signs of ancient riverbeds, emerges as an alluring choice for future human colonization. The terraforming process, terraforming Mars, is a multifaceted process, commencing with the pivotal step of elevating the planet's temperature. Mars, due to its feeble atmosphere, lacks the capability to efficiently trap heat. Its primary component, carbon dioxide, proves insufficiently dense to retain warmth effectively. Consequently, the introduction of additional greenhouse gases, particularly methane, is imperative to initiate the warming process. While Neil deGrasse Tyson humorously alludes to the notion of producing methane through chili consumption, the actual process would entail a more sophisticated and controlled approach. Furthermore, microorganisms, most notably cyanobacteria, assume a pivotal role in the terraforming scheme. These minuscule life forms could bring about transformative changes in Mars's atmosphere by releasing oxygen, mirroring their critical historical contributions to Earth's atmospheric evolution. Neil deGrasse Tyson's insights shed light on the intricate interplay of science and imagination required to turn Mars into a potential cradle for humanity's future. If we're going to be a two-planet species, I'm thinking you got to terraform Mars for that to happen. Challenges and uncertainties, the complex path of terraforming Mars, 
Venturing into the ambitious endeavor of terraforming Mars confronts a myriad of formidable challenges and shrouded uncertainties. The journey to transform the Red Planet into a habitable world is riddled with complexities that may test our resolve and stretch the bounds of human innovation. As we embark on this path, it becomes evident that the timeline for accomplishing this monumental transformation is far from clear. It's a voyage into the unknown where the duration may span centuries and in the most daunting scenarios, even millennia. The prospect of making Mars hospitable teems with risks and enigmas, making it one of humanity's boldest undertakings. Earth, our ultimate priority, and Neil deGrasse. Tyson's insight amid this grand scientific endeavor, a poignant and existential question arises. Should we channel our resources intellect, and ingenuity towards preserving and safeguarding our beloved home planet Earth before embarking on the audacious pursuit of colonizing Mars. This question calls to mind the insights of astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson, a notable voice in this discourse. He aptly emphasizes that if humanity possesses the capability to terraform Mars and manipulate an alien world, then it should be well equipped to tackle the pressing environmental challenges that currently confront Earth. This perspective reorients our approach, suggesting that Mars colonization is not merely an escape plan, but a strategic contingency to protect our species from cataclysmic events. It underscores that our commitment should always prioritize Earth's care and well-being, as our home planet demands our dedicated stewardship, navigating the challenges of terraforming Mars. The road to terraforming Mars is fraught with hurdles that demand our attention and innovation. One of the foremost challenges is the uncertainty surrounding the timeline for Mars to become habitable. While we may set our sights on Mars as the future home for humanity, the reality is that we are charting an uncertain course. The timeline for this colossal transformation is mired in ambiguity and could potentially span centuries, if not millennia. Such an endeavor is not for the faint of heart and necessitates steadfast determination. Another formidable challenge lies in the very nature of altering an entire planet's climate, surface, and environment. Terraforming is an intricate process that requires us to manipulate the Martian atmosphere and make it conducive to human habitation. This daunting task encompasses a series of steps, each more complex than the last. The thin Martian atmosphere is primarily composed of carbon dioxide, which, despite being a greenhouse gas, is insufficient to effectively trap heat due to its low density. Initiating the warming process will involve the introduction of greenhouse gases such as methane, a process far more sophisticated than merely consuming chili, as humorously suggested by Neil deGrasse Tyson. The role of microorganisms in terraforming Mars. In this cosmic transformation, microorganisms, particularly cyanobacteria, are destined to play a pivotal role. These minuscule life forms, which have had a substantial impact on Earth's atmosphere in ancient times, are believed to hold the key to reshaping Mars. Just as cyanobacteria significantly contributed to altering Earth's atmosphere by releasing oxygen, they may partake in a similar task on Mars. This crucial step implies that even in the pursuit of making another planet habitable, life, in the form of microorganisms, will be instrumental in orchestrating the transformation. In conclusion, balancing Mars and Earth, in summation, the vision of terraforming Mars is alluring, igniting the fires of human imagination and inquiry. The concept of humans establishing a presence on the Martian landscape holds immense appeal. However, it is imperative to acknowledge that Earth, the birthplace of humanity and the only known cradle of life, is deserving of our unwavering devotion, care and protection. While Mars may serve as humanity's plan B, our unshakable dedication must perpetually be directed towards Plan A, Earth. Ensuring the prosperity and preservation of our home planet should be our foremost objective, even as we set our sights on the tantalizing possibilities beyond. The question lingers, should we begin preparations for a voyage to Mars or continue to fortify our commitment to Earth? Only time will ultimately unveil the answer, but for the present, it's beyond dispute 
that Earth stands as our sole and cherished abode, meriting our deepest commitment and unwavering safeguarding.